This is the Danacord King. It's an all vacuum tube guitar amplifier from the mid 60s. We're going to take a look at its features, then we're going to look inside it, and then we're going to change the magnetic tape in the echo. So it's a two channel amplifier. Each channel has their own bass, treble, and volume control, as well as tremolo and echo. Here you adjust the feedback of the band echo, and here you adjust the volume. Here you start the tape echo, and this determines which record and playback heads are going to be used. And then for the tremolo section, you have intensity and rate. As we can see, it's beautiful on the inside. We have the power supply section completely sealed off from the signal processing section. And in another separate compartment, we have the power amplifier section. So let's start with the power supply section. We have Dunacord's own input transformer, vacuum impregnated it seems. And then we have the signal processing section, and as you can see, it's all neatly laid out. Everything is thoroughly labeled. And we also have all Telefunken vacuum tubes. And then we have the power amplifier section, two Telefunken EL34s and a big output transformer. So we'll have a quick look at the bottom as well. And as you can see, here it's equally pretty. The labeling is just as thorough. We see the bottom of the main transformer here. We can see that the windings are held together firmly by these bands. Here we have the output of the power supply section. And with this connector you can remove the power supply, which is great for troubleshooting. Here we can see the other side of the output transformer, also Dunacord's own. And here we can see something that I couldn't find in the schematic. I suspect that this transformer is to get a decent line level output used with this connector. Now this amplifier is from the mid 60s and it looks like not much has been done to it since then. And it's still working perfectly fine. Now the only thing that's not working exactly as it should is the tape section. And it probably just needs a new tape. Under this hatch on the back of the unit we have the tape echo. And here you will see another very nice feature. We have a picture of the tape echo where all the components are labeled. And you can see how to thread it with new magnetic tape. And here we have the record heads and here we have the playback heads. And here you can see the motor and the motor shaft. And here we have the electromagnet that engages the mechanism when you turn it on. So this is just a continuous loop of magnetic tape that records the audio and then plays it back through any of these playback heads. And then the magnetic tape is erased and the loop continues. And here you have a few parameters of the tape echo that you can adjust. So to remove the tape you just detach these covers. And the tape comes right off. So this is the tape we're going to replace. You can see a pretty funny mistake on this tape loop. The splice is made on the wrong side. So this is the playback side of the magnetic tape and this is the back side. So of course the sticky tape should be on this side. I'm using this splicing tool from a Revox A77 reel to reel recorder. So you want to cut it at an angle to make the splice less noticeable in the playback.